the idea is that a society where not a lot of people have too much and not a lot of people have too little. Yeah, yeah. Balanced society. A balanced society. I mean, we don't have people starving. The flip side of that is we don't have extremely rich people. I mean, we have a heavy <laughs> taxation. Yeah, yeah. Um, and of course, there's a political battle. How much should we tax people? I mean, do we take, if it is too much, we take the initiative out of people. If it's too little, our school sucks. Everybody goes to private hospitals. I mean, but for, for the last 50 years, we have found some kind of balance that everybody basically agrees upon. And then there's differences there. Um, everybody can go to university if you're bright enough. I mean, people are paying uh, due to taxation. We're paying students to go there. Uh, so it's not because your parents were poor that you can't go there. If you're yeah, skilled yeah. enough, you can. Uh, if you're ill, you can be treated at, at, a, at, a, at a good hospital. Uh, you can go to schools. Our uh, transportation system is pretty okay. Uh, uh, the weather, it's, it's like society. It's not extremely cold and it's not extremely hot. It is pretty much lousy all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but, but, it, but it's okay weather. Um, and then the crime rate is pretty low. Yes. Um, I mean, it's, people are pretty safe. Um, I was just telling him this. I I, and I think that that is, I mean, that is, uh, I, I think, many, many different mixtures to this. So people, of course, they blah, 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 talk about a lot of things that can become better. Uh, but basically, they are pretty safe and they, they have a pretty, pretty decent life. Uh, of course, a lot of people they're afraid of the financial crisis. They can't get. I mean, if you are, if you if you're not a skilled worker, if you don't, if you can't do anything. I mean, in this globalist globalized world, either you have to be cheapest or best, and we are not cheapest. But if you're not best either, you are in, you're doomed. And a lot of people in this country have found out they are not cheapest, but they're not best at anything. And then jobs are moving away. For instance, to India, because pe people are cheaper. But damn it, they are also better. I had a visit to, just to 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 end that. I had a, a delegation from Pakistan, editors from Pakistan. They've been just like they travel around. They came here, and there was one woman sitting there in her sari, and asking, old editor. She was very bright. She said, "Could you please explain me something? Mm -hmm. We are not traveling around in this country for a long time, and there's one thing I don't understand. I've heard a story about some." Young kids dropping out of school, not having education. Can you explain me why is this? Is this because people are not hungry anymore in this country? And I think there was a lot of truth to that. I mean, people are so satisfied and I don't think anything bad can hit them, that the welfare state will take care of them till they die. And they're making a big mistake because we can't afford that anymore. Yes. Because globalization is just all the things that protected us, yeah. but also set limits for if you had a good idea. I, I mean, we, we, we have deliberately in the Western world said, we want all these barriers to go away. And the reason why we said that, because all the good things, all the good, our dairy products or computers or whatever, we can export them to all those bloody Indians and Chinese people and it's great. Problem was that they also build a free build a freeway that went the other way. So people in India and China and former Soviet Republic and South America, they also want to have a good life, and they can think themselves. In Western countries such as Denmark, we thought that the idea of globalization was that we think how the shirt should be made, we design it, and you produce it for free, almost free. And then everything, but we think you work. Mm. And that was not what happened because people in India can think too. And they come up with good design and they figure out how to produce news that people, that are meaningful to news. They, you're not coming here to copy what we're doing. I mean, that's what, what's happening all over the place. So a small country such as ours, we are stuck if we do not wake up and become hungry.